down here with a collective MAC haul. This is all items that I have been picking up from December to now. So I am going to start with the items that I picked up in December. Some of these items um, you can still purchase if they're available. I usually go to the MAC counter at Macy's and usually when they have like special collections, if they still have them, they still will be listed on the Macy's website and you can just order it online and pick it up in the store. So this was one of the um, Christmas objects of affection um, pigments that were really popular. I have one of the other ones in rose colors, but I tend to wear colors like this more often. So I went back to Macy's and um, I decided to pick this one up. So that's how that one looks up close. And it contains some different shades of taupe and gold, basically. Loose pigments on my, on my hand. And as you can see, we have some that are really glittery. And then we have some that are really matte, kind of like a flat color. But um, all of these colors are like the same colors that I usually use from my Naked palette. Okay, so the next items that I have to show you guys would be the brush collection. And these are all stippling brushes. They're kind of like in a nice gunmetal type color. They basically match the theme that was going along with the Objects of Affection holiday boxes. But I actually have a big stippling brush. I have a smaller one. And then I have two more brushes for eyeshadow. And I thought I had five brushes, but honestly, I only use these three the most. So there might be a fifth brush and I just don't remember where I put it. The one that I was using before, which was like $40, is this little one. And it would take longer for me to get my foundation on. But I believe this holiday set was like $50. So you get really good brushes for $50. The next item that I got during the holidays is this purple lipstick. And this was um, the Nasty Gal collection. So this color is called Gunner and it is a dark purple. And I love this color so much. So the next item that I picked up, it's also um, a collector's item, would be the Simpsons palette. This was the only thing that I really liked from the Simpsons line. So I really like all of those colors. Um, I think that they uh, did a fairly good job of picking colors that are pretty fun. And I use this palette quite a lot. And I will show you guys how some of these colors look. Okay, so here is the swatch, and as you can see, um, the lightest color is the one at the very top near my thumb. That color I don't use very often because it's really light and it really doesn't show up. And then the next color is the dark purple, which I love, and then the vibrant blue, which I also love. And then there's, um, I don't really know how to describe this color, it's kind of a mix between a dark gray and purple. Okay, next I have a um, lip pencil. The color that I used to use is called Cushy, but I thought that color was a little too light. And so this was a part of a collection also. I think it was um, Wild wild Ones or Wild Things or something like that, but this color is called Cork. It's a really, really great color. I use this um, for the lip liner and a lot of different lipsticks because it's just it's very close to my skin tone and so it makes it easier for me to blend in lighter colors. Next I have lashes. So these lashes are um, number 43. I really don't like these lashes that much because they look too natural. They're really short and you can't even really tell that you're wearing lashes um, when you wear them. This container is number 48. They're the lashes that I'm wearing now. Um, also, these lashes I'm not really a huge fan of. Fan of. Not because they, um, I don't like them. I like them, but they look like too fake. So 
The lashes that I usually buy, I finally found the old container and I figured out that it's number 35. So I just ordered some last night because those are my favorite. But these are really close to number 35. They just are like, they come out, they fan out way more. Coming up on some of the last items, and um, these items are items that I picked up this month. So I was in need of a bronzer. The bronzer that I had actually broke in my purse. So I'm wearing the bronzer right now, and this is called Gold Deposit. And um, it's really, really gold, which I love. Next, I have another pressed pigment. I now have three of these and I like them a lot. So I'm wearing this one right now on my lids. This is called Rock Candy and it's basically just a light pink. Next I have um, just a really basic eyeshadow. It probably looks exactly like one of the pressed pigments that I just showed you guys but this is called Quarry and usually when I'm doing like a makeup, no makeup look and I want to look very natural. I will wear this. I will also use this as a base under some of the pressed pigments sometimes. And the last item is the um, blush that I'm wearing. This blush is called Stubborn and it is it's a mix between like a rouge and a pink. So that is um, this is my go-to eyeshadow, eyeshadow my go-to um, blush color. So that is my entire haul, um, my entire collective MAC haul. I hope that you guys are having a great week and I will see you all later.